Hey guys, Chris are back here with another pickup video. Yeah, that's right, a new pickup video. It's been a while, a real long time actually for a pickup video. Um, yeah, so uh, just gonna fix the stash. Um, just gonna get into it. Bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I stockpiled a lot of stuff like far back. You'll find out how far back right away because uh, uh, on my wedding anniversary, I forgot to show you guys this because I was playing this a lot. Um, the wife picked me up a PS Vita, which is really, really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, and she got me Dragon's Crown with it, which is an awesome, phenomenal game. I was playing it on the PS3. Um, now I've been pretty much solely playing it on the Vita. The Vita is really, really cool. I'm, I'm a big handheld guy, and uh, I was going to say it's a lot better than the PSP, in my opinion. Um, so far, right? I only have one game, so <clears throat> pardon me. So, got that uh, a while ago. So, that's not a recent pickup, but it's really cool to have, right? Uh, really cool show, too. Um, next up, we got some uh, some Atari games that I was donated. Um, a friend of my mom's... My mom's? No. A friend of my wife's mom. There you go. My mother-in-law's friend. Why is that so hard to say? Uh, she donated me a bunch of uh, uh, Atari games. And why did I say she? It's a he. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm just going to show them off. Rifle off the names here. Some of them I played. Some of them I haven't. Some of them have rattles. But yeah, it's all good. Uh, we got Missile Command. That has a rattle. We got Ice Hockey. Rifle those off real quick. Uh, Qbert. I actually played Qbert, which is kind of a neat game. A little puzzle kind of game. I'm pretty sure you guys know what Qbert is. Uh, Desert, Desert Falcon, which is like a, kind of like a shooter, kind of neat. Uh, we got Donkey Kong Jr. We got Defenders. We got Junior Pac-Man, which is pretty cool. We got Midnight Magic, which is like a pinball game, which is fun. I play, actually played that game more than the other uh, Atari games here, which is kind of neat. We got Mrs. Pac-Man. Played that too. Mouse Mouse Trap, which is kind of like Pac-Man, but with cats, mice, and dogs. Uh, got boxing. Yars Revenge. And Star Raiders, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so we got all those for free, which is really really awesome. Really, really nice guy to just donate donate me some uh, Atari games. Uh, yeah, so going to get into some, some more games here. One of them, uh, the wife bought. Uh, she's been playing this like nonstop. She's a big uh, Hidden Mysteries uh, handheld fan. So she picked up Titanic. Um, it was only like five bucks. Uh, yeah, she's been playing that constantly. So yeah, she's been playing that. Um, what else we got here? Went to a garage sale. Bunch of, uh, bunch of games I got here. Excuse me. I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> I'm not dying. Uh, I got Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like a, kind of like a first person shooter. It is a first person shooter. Yeah. Pretty neat. Uh, all these I actually got for 20 bucks, I think. Um, yeah, 20 bucks for these. And I got an Xbox, original Xbox for 20. So it was $40 together. Um, I'm not going to show it because it's going to be packed away and I'm going to give it to a friend of mine. Uh, so yeah, so we got Metroid, uh, we got Wario, Wario Land Shake It, which is really fun. It's, it's a good, uh, platformer, um, has this like little anime, uh, cutscene at the beginning, which is really cool for like a Mario style game. And the, uh, the art style is a lot different than, uh, than any other Mario game I've played. So, Mario game, Mario game. It's the same, right? It's the same. Uh, we got, for the Xbox, we got Sonic Collection. What is it? Mega Collection Plus. Uh, I think I have this for the GameCube. Might be for the GameCube or the PS2. I'm not too sure. But, uh, pretty awesome to have that. Um, yeah. Sonic games are really, really fun. Uh, we got Tac 2, Staff of Dreams. Which is a cool little 3D platformer. Where you can, like, turn into animals and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, 
Simpsons Road Rage, which is, in my opinion, like Grand Theft Auto, but for kids. Pretty pretty cool with Simpsons characters, and yeah. We got, uh, last but not least, out of that little lot, uh, got RPG Maker 2 for the PS2, which I'm really looking forward to trying. Uh, I don't know how I can make an RPG, and no one would be playing it but me. But, so yeah, uh, it comes with a already, already to play RPG Fiona. So, might try that. Uh, really cool. So, uh, yeah, that's not it either. Um, just actually the other day, this is quite recently, uh, the wife found me some, some video games on the local wanted ads. And, uh, it said 30 bucks, but 35 to deliver. And we jumped right on it. Uh, didn't know exactly what these were worth. I just, I haven't picked up some SNES for a while. And, uh, thought I should show you. Uh, talked to Chad Bailey about these. He said I struck gold. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. I got, like, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not, you can count later. Uh, a duplicate of Super Game Boy. Uh, as I said, I love handhelds. So anything that is, like, a handheld game that can, you know, be boosted, I love also. So, like, playing... Pokemon on the big screen is awesome. Big fan of it. So, uh, got that. Um, a game that I sent Chad, but it was on the Genesis. Um, it's almost like a curse. It keeps coming back. We got Shaq Fu. Uh, I don't know. Everyone has their opinion on Shaq Fu. It's not the worst game, but it's not the best either. It's, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's some guys out there. That will uh, tell me otherwise, but <clears throat> yeah, I got a frog in my throat. I haven't been, yeah, haven't been feeling too well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Shaq Fu, Super Game Boy, Shaq Fu. We got a lot more stuff here, guys. Uh, this one, Chad knows the name of it. I just don't because it's ripped. Um, it does work, but I just didn't even pay attention. I was just pressing to start, you know, just to make it, make it work. You play these like mech things, a side scroller kind of shooter. Uh, platformer-ish. Uh, if you can make that out, thank you very much. <laughs> it's like Zat, Zad Zardar, Zardar, I don't know, Zardan. <clears throat> I don't know. Some cosmetic damage. Game works perfect, but, yeah. And, uh, what else we got here? We got a really, really fun fighter on the Super Nintendo. One of the best fighters, I think, on the Super Nintendo. Um, uh, Samurai Showdown. A uh, really fun game. It's not as violent as, like, say, like, Mortal Kombat. But there's, like, some animated blood, which is kind of neat for on the Super Nintendo. Um, it's not all about the blood. It's about the gameplay, though. Like, it's really, really fun. Difficult as all heck. But, yeah. Samurai Showdown. Really happy to have that. We got uh, a, a duplicate, which is really crazy. Uh, I can't even believe I found the first, like, my first one. We got a duplicate of Pocky and Rocky. Um, this one's going to Chad Bailey. He already called dibs. Actually, I called dibs for him. He can have it. Uh, Pocky and Rocky. So, yeah. Rare as heck, I guess. I don't know. Not rare. Just rare for me to find a duplicate of anything. So, <laughs> we got that. Um, another game that I played for a little bit, which is kind of fun. I did not know anything about this until I told Chad. Uh, King of Dragons, um, it's a, it's a side-scroller beat-em-up, yeah, but with knights and stuff, which is pretty cool, it's kind of like, uh, Golden Axe, Golden Axe, yeah, kind of like that, so I got King of Dragons, two more games here, which I'm really, really happy to have, super stoked, uh, made a little less list of, uh, Super Nintendo games that I wanted, and, uh, this one was on one of the top of the lists, and, yeah, you can scratch it off now, we got Illusion of Gaia, which is really, really cool. Happy to have that. Going to play this as soon as I get time to. And last but not least, uh, I I don't know. When, when the wife said, this game is in it, I kind of was like, how is that? No way. And uh, yeah, so it's a pretty big game. Another game that I can scratch off the list. We got Ogre Battle. Some co cosmetic damage right there. But hey, whatever. Uh, works like a charm. Yeah, really happy to have Ogre Battle. Uh, yeah, 35 bucks for all those SNES games. A deal comes like that once in a lifetime, I think. 
at least where I live. So, yeah, Ogre Battle, Pocky and Rocky, Illusion of Gaia. Got some great stuff. Uh, got another big video coming up. It's not too big. It's, it's big for me. Um, and uh, I'm not going to spoil what it is. But hopefully in the next video or the video after that will be about the thing I'm talking about. Yeah, so uh, a few of my friends already know exactly what it is. But for the rest of you, stay tuned. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry it's been a while, but I had to stockpile some stuff to make it look like I had a lot of stuff to show you. I can't just be picking up a Vita and say, hey, I got a Vita. See you later. But all right, I can talk about it. But anyway, so I rambled long enough. Uh, wasted, what, 10, 11 minutes of your time. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos. <laughs> yeah and uh yeah you guys have a nice day see ya